So what is up bosses? Hope everyone's doing fantastic. Now I do apologise, it has been a couple of weeks since my last video. Um, I'm happy to say that I have resolved some of my sound issues. I'm still waiting for a new mic, so I'm using my backup mic. Um, but I did find out what was wrong and what was upsetting the sound. So hopefully all is good in this video. Um, it just happened to be a setting that I had um, set wrong. So um, getting back to the review for today then. So a couple of weeks ago now, I had a full wearing of Thomas Cosmola's number four, which is uh, Apre L'Amour. Um, so I'm going to be back in just a second to you all about this wonderful fragrance. So welcome back, you're watching the Luxury Frames Boss channel. My name's Scott, of course I'm the Luxury Frames Boss. Thank you for joining me for another review. Um, otherwise, if you're new to the channel and this is the first review you're watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video. Also, while you're there, you might as well hit that notification bell as well, that way you know anytime I'm releasing a new video. Which, for, I mean, unfortunately for the last couple of weeks, I haven't been doing many videos. There's a couple of reasons for that. I had some sound issues, as I mentioned in the intro. I've managed to resolve the sound issues. I'm still using my backup mic until my new one arrives hopefully on Tuesday, otherwise it'd be the following Tuesday. Um, it was supposed to arrive last Tuesday, um, but my friend was bringing it on a ship for me and they forgot to bring it off. Um, and unfortunately it takes like an hour to get back to the ship because we're attendable here. Um, for those of you that cruise and know what that means, um, it just means that you have to get on a little boat to go out to the big boat and then come all the way back again. It's an absolute pain. Um, so yeah, so unfortunately I'm still waiting uh, for my new mic. Uh, but as I said, I'm using my backup mic, but I have resolved the sound issues. It just happened to be a setting on my iPad that I hadn't changed from when I changed mics. Um, and also I had a nasty eye infection as well, as some of you can see, it's a horrible lump there. Um, I was playing golf one morning, while I was practicing my golf on the range, and it gets very, very humid, very, very hot here. So I went to wipe my face with a towel. I must have cut my eyelid a tiny bit and it got infected. And for the last couple of weeks, I've been fighting it with antibiotics. I know, and I had to change antibiotics as well for halfway through. And thankfully, uh, the last few days, it started to clear up. It's about half the size that it was. Um, so Thomas Cosmala's number four. Let's get back to what we're here for, shall we? Um, so Thomas Cosmala's number four, which is um, Apre L'Amour, um, which, if my French knowledge is, it's really not that good, but I believe it means after love. Um, that's from going back 20 years, well, more than 20 years to when I was at high school learning French, um, but I believe that's what it translates as. I'm sure if I'm wrong, I'm sure many of you will let me know in the comments section below, and please do. Um, now this one is an absolutely stunning fragrance. I am happy to say this is one that will find its way into my collection. Um, this one is, I'd say, three quarters Baccarat Rouge 540, the EDP version, and a quarter of Widian's Liwa. Two absolutely stunning fragrances. Now, with this one though, there is something missing compared to Baccarat Rouge. Uh, and it's a great thing because the bit that's missing is, to me, when I smell Baccarat Rouge, it has, there's a tiny note in there that's a little bit sour. For me, it's normally rose that does that, but there's no rose in Baccarat Rouge. So I'm not quite sure what it is, whether it's the Marigold, because that's not a note that I'm familiar with in sort of any other fragrances. Um, but there's definitely something in there that just doesn't sit quite right with me, and it's not in this one. This one's a little bit more musky. Um, I'd say it's probably a bit more masculine as well. Um, I was very, very lucky enough to be sent this by one of um, by one of my subscribers, Christian, who's out there. Christian Cowie goes by on Instagram, otherwise prep for it. You'll see him in some of the comment sections. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Christian, for sending me this one. Um, and you spoke so highly of it, and I can really, really see why. It's an absolute stunning fragrance. Now, as well, the price point of this one, this is about half the price if not less than half the price of either William Lewa or, um, or Baccarat Rouge. This one goes for £125 in the UK um, for a 100ml bottle, not a 50ml bottle, for a 100ml. So you get a lot more liquid, or a lot more juice, as some of you like to call it, in there for that money. So I mean, it really is an absolutely stunning fragrance. As, I mean, and it's got all the performance of those other two. I mean, one thing that Baccarat Rouge is famous for is its longevity and its power. You've still got exactly those things with this one. You're still gonna wake up and be able to smell this one the next morning. The longevity is absolutely phenomenal. Um, power, I'd say it's probably 90% as powerful um, compared to the Baccarat Rouge. Um, Liwa obviously is a little bit softer, but Liwa is just a stunning fragrance I, I love. That's another one that I'm gonna be purchasing in the next, uh, the next few months as well. Um, something else I just got, Black Mel from uh, Kerosene, which if you haven't tried this one, you're a big fan of Interlude, um, Interlude Man, which I've also got, 
and I'd say by the fireplace, that one sits kind of halfway in between there. Uh, but yeah, Thomas Cosmala's number four, absolutely stunning. I could not re recommend this high enough, especially if you do like sweet fragrances and you don't like the price points of either Liwa or of um, Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, let's just go over the notes of this one quickly. You've got bitter orange, lemon zest, wood, musk, and, uh, sorry, musk and amber, not musk. Um, yeah, so absolutely stunning fragrance. I, like I said, I really highly recommend especially trying this one. Um, I, if I'd known what it smelled like, obviously, uh, well, I can't say that I'd blind by it if I knew what it smelled like, because obviously you have to smell it to know that. So, um, but yeah, it's definitely one worth picking up or one worth trying. It's quite a difficult fragrance to get hold of. Uh, I believe the only place in the UK that actually sells it is Harrods. Um, I know Lucky Scent Carry in the US, and I believe Dior um, or Dor, perfumes in LA also carry it as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you can get your hands on it, get your hands on a sample, absolute stunning fragrance. And like I say, I really recommend it. And thank you so much, Christian, for sending me that one. Um, so that's my thoughts on Thomas Cosmala. Please let me know if you've tried this one. Like I say, it's not a very well-known house, so I'd love to get your thoughts on it. Um, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up as well if you enjoyed the, uh, enjoyed the review. Um, very, very soon I will be shooting my top 10 full fragrances and I've got some 10 absolute bangers for you. So make sure you look out for that. That'll be coming. I'm going to be shooting that later this evening. Um, I'm going to the gym first and then also going to go and hit some more balls at the range and try not to infect my eye anymore. Um, but yeah, and then I'll be coming back and when I've got better light, I'll be shooting that one. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's my thoughts on Thomas Cosma. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. You can find me at Luxury Frames Boss. That we keep up to date with my scent of the day. I've got some fantastic stuff at the moment. Uh, I got sent these from Bortnikoff, um, which I've been wearing. Fantastic house. I'm gonna got some great reviews coming. Um, I got sent a bunch of stuff from uh, Scented Intuitions on Instagram as well. He sent me 15 from Arabian Oud to try out. Um, I've got stuff arriving from Widian. I've, I've got a whole bunch of stuff coming, so make sure you hit that subscribe, uh, sorry, hit that bell notification if you haven't done already, and keep up to date with more of my reviews. Uh, besides that, stay smelling fantastic, I look forward to seeing you very soon, and thank you so much for watching.